Hey everybody, I'm Martin from Matthew Studio Equipment. Jacob from Lightbridge. Today we're going to tackle a very simple and effective interview lighting setup. We're going to do it from scratch. That's the reason it's dark. So let's get started. Step number one, we're going to put together our Matthews Road Flags kit. 48 by 48 frames with all sorts of textiles. It's going to give us a real nice wrappy light. Let's set it up. Here's our Road Flags frame. Two side pieces, a top and a bottom. We have magnets inside of the receivers, so it's very easy to put together. We built up our 48 by 48 frame. Now it's time to put on a textile. What we have here in our Road Flags kit are two pockets and two elastics on the end. The pockets are going to go away from the pin. We're ready to mount this onto a portable, lightweight kit stand. Here we go. I got my kit stand. I have a two and a half inch grip head on top of it. Very portable, lightweight option. Let's get this guy rigged into our stand. And as always, we're going to make sure we have some weight on the bottom of our stand to keep everything safe. This is a 10 pound boa bag. Step one is out of the way. Let's bring some light into the picture. Okay, for step number two, let's look what this is actually doing. So the great thing about big sources is, right, it's going to wrap around really beautifully. So first thing we want to do is we want to set the correct angle. So just open this up, come down a little bit, see how more light's happening right here. Let's take it up a little bit, right, because you always want to kind of make sure the right eye light. As soon as you adapt the surface, make sure your light's still on us. And uh, then always come to the camera position, right, to check again, see how it's wrapping around, see what the eye light is doing. So that kind of could be nice if we want to. We could wrap it around more. This meaning walk around the flag a little bit to the front. Once again, as soon as you do this, you always want to go back to adapt how your light's going. Actually, it's kind of cool. Sometimes you can spot it down, play around a little bit. Most important thing is look at the light. See what you like. That's the most important thing about this process over here. Okay, this is nice and rapid. It's going all the way around because the, uh, the flag is big enough, so it's wrapping around to the other side of Martine's face. That's a great basic way to start, but now let's bring up some quality. Oh! <laughs> the yes. C-Kit Go basically is designed for interview setups, right? So you got two stands, Diffusion 3, Diffusion 4, and 50s, and you got smaller ones. You know you want to say you want to add a kicker, you want to add something to the dark clothes. That's what it's great for. But let's get to this. We really want to concentrate with the face to do a really simple setup right now. We're going to use a Mafer and the knucklehead to be able to attach Jacob's reflector onto the very same kit stand that is holding our road rags flag. I'm going to put it on there so that we have a nice secure mount. And now we have the knucklehead. So Jacob's going to be able to really articulate and be able to find exactly where he needs his reflector to work. So to kind of elevate the face a little bit, right? We want to have a little bit more contrast here, but we really want to carefully wrap around to the other side. We're going to use a C wheel to mount on here to the knucklehead and always to keep the reflectors protected, take out the sleeve. Easy, just push it back, put the C wheel here to the back, fix it down. Off goes the sleeve. It has loops here so you can easily hang it onto the stand. Now we're going to mount it. And always take care. We want to really have, uh, keep the control basically of where we want the light to go. So I'm going to fix this all down, make sure everything's secure and safe. Open up the knucklehead, and now we can start to see what this reflector does, right? Oh, okay, this is really bright right here. I'm going to just turn around a little bit. I came in here really bright, too bright. Kind of tilt it in. This is the great thing about how the light fetters off. I really get a chance to put it to the level where we want to have it, right? Now we're going to take it down a little bit. This is way too much. Take it down, see how the glasses stay free because I'm coming in from the side. And maybe this is too sidey. So we want to have a little bit more backlit. Just pan it in from the back. There we go. Now we still can decide the intensity where we want the light to go. It's really nice and easy to play with it, figuring out exactly what your taste is for the whole thing. Okay, obviously this is all to your taste. I'm lighting without actually seeing the results. I'm just kind of second guessing. That's still cool because we can always go back to the monitor and recheck it. It's so fast and simple, we got time to do this. Okay, this is basically simple. If you want to add a kicker, just add another one over here. But basically, I just want to put out a suggestion. Look how dark the background is, how the person out here is coming out in the front. It's really elevating the level. This is the way we work basically in cinema, and it gives it this little, little cinematic feel. Okay, I hope this really helps you, and I hope you're going to have a great shooting day doing this.